Hi, this is Sean Hellman, team leader of the Hellman Group Real Estate Experts here at Keller Williams in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Today we're going to be discussing the unexpected costs when you're deciding to try to move up or move down in selling your home. Uh, but before we get into today's topic, I'd like to point out two links on our website. The first one is our free home evaluation site that gets you real-time information on what homes are selling for in your neighborhood and what the value of your home may be. And the second link is our free home search site that gets you 24-7 access to all properties and multiple listing service. Uh, it's like your backstage pass to homes for sale. Now back to our topic. Moving up and some of the unexpected costs in getting your home sold in order to buy a new one. Uh, there's really five key things to consider when you're deciding to make this move. Uh, and, and the first one, if you're having to take out financing to buy another home, it's important to meet with a mortgage broker and getting an idea of what your budget is and what some of the loan costs are gonna be to take out a mortgage. That's key. Financing is always the first step when you're deciding to buy a home. Uh, second is what is it gonna cost to sell your current home? Uh, that's where I, I come into play. I can come out, meet with you, give you an equity evaluation of your property, and this will do two things. One, we'll determine what your pricing strategy is to get your home sold, uh, but also what the estimated cost to get your home sold. It will explain some of the real estate commissions, some of the title costs, uh, things that you can budget for. But more importantly, it'll show you what your equity is in your home and what you can walk away with because you want to know how much money will be left over after the sale of your home in order to put that into your move and into the purchase of your next home. Next, determine what the cost will be to acquire a new home. So if it's been a while since you've purchased, there's a lot of things that have happened in the real estate market that you need to help prepare for and budget for when deciding to buy a new home. There may be some moving costs. You may have to hire movers to help move to a new property, uh, but also uh, what are some of the costs associated with buying a new home? Inspection costs, title costs, your loan costs again, and just helping you put together a really good budget, what it's going to take in order to buy a new home. Uh, the next thing, getting your home ready uh, for sale, and that's really what type of repairs may be associated with that. One thing that we highly recommend is pre-listing inspections. This will have your home fully inspected. You get an idea of what type of repairs you may incur, um, but also uh, you can get estimates on some upgrades that you may need to do to your home, maybe repainting, doing some upgrades to the flooring to get it ready for prospective buyers. And that really feeds into the last thing, which is getting your home ready for prospective buyers. I have some previous videos on staging uh, that you can definitely, I can refer you to, but we also have a expert stager that we work with with our team that can come meet with you and point out things to get your home ready for sale. And a lot of it, just to kind of recap, is getting your home decluttered, having it staged, rearranging some furniture or moving some things out into storage uh, and maybe getting your curb appeal correct uh, for the sale. Uh, so if you want any other questions that you may have, feel free to reach out to me. We'd love an opportunity to maybe meet with you, give you an equity evaluation on your current home, uh, show you what it's worth in today's market. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can certainly reach out to us. Uh, thanks again for listening to our video blog on today's topic. Uh, we, we love your questions and your referrals. Uh, so we look forward to hearing from you. And as always, stay classy, Albuquerque.